is an absolutely brutal way to lose. It's a painful way to lose. It is, it is, it is it's such a tease to be that close, to be up that much. And I mean, look, I think, I think people that are familiar with that watch a lot of football knew that the game wasn't over, but it was trending in such a good way. Um, it is a very painful way to lose. 17 point leads uh, are no fun when you lose, obviously, but it was a 17 point halftime lead. I've seen games that have had 17 point leads that disappear in the fourth quarter. Those are more brutal to me. This one obviously hurts because of the stage that it was on. What was at stake? Um, you know, how good you felt going into halftime and how quickly things changed in the second half because of a, of a couple of mishaps. And it's, like I said, I, I think in the moment I was, I was furious. There were plenty of plays I was furious about. But it, when the game was over, I think about 15 minutes after the game, it just settled in. It was, it was disappointment, and I'm hurt, but I'm not pissed because this team gave me a lot of joy this year. I expected them, to, you know, beginning of the season, I thought they'd go 12-5. and five. I thought they'd win the division, thought they'd host a playoff game. I didn't think they'd be playing in the NFC Championship game. Um, I didn't. I didn't think that they were going to be leading by 17 at, at, at uh, in this game um, at hence, halftime. Hence the pain. I mean, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's painful. Just, it, it's... There's no question it's painful, but it's. I'm not pissed. All right, so here was my overreaction. The game ends. I'm watching the celebration. Then I hear the Chiefs play-by-play guy, like, who's... Chiefs? Yeah, because they kept playing the, the their radio call about, you may not like the Chiefs, you may despise the Chiefs, but you have to deal with the Chiefs. Oh boy! And I just was like, you know what? I'm not watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> Doug, I said the same thing, but not because of the wow. Chiefs. I did say was, I'm not watching just the Super because, Bowl. No, it was the combination. Yeah, it included okay. the Chiefs, and I'm like, I'm not watching the wow. Super Bowl. I'm I said, out. yep, I said the I'm same thing. I'm not watching it. And and I in that moment, I'm like, I meant it. <laughs> I sat there and I'm Me like, too. this this year, this time I'm doing something else. I'm not watching the Super Bowl. Yep, I'm not. I'm going to Applebee's. Not, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> watching the Super Bowl. You can try and convince me, but I'm not watching that game. And I'm like, I'm out. I can't. I'm not watching. Football season ended. I'm not watching the Super Bowl. I'm not. It's like me and, and I mean it. And then like three minutes later, I'm like, I'm gonna have to watch the Super Bowl. Like me in the NCAA tournament when Michigan State gets knocked out. I'm out. No, but I believe you on that. Yeah, that's, true. that's, that's true. different. Yeah. That's totally different, dude. Actually, that's proven yeah. to be but the case. Yeah, this, uh, I, I like how you both have said that because I'm like thinking to myself, I I have no desire to watch <laughs> Kansas City and the Swifties against the team that just broke our hearts. I I don't want to watch this. And my initial reaction was. I want Kansas City to pound the hell out of San Francisco. Right, I agree with you there. And, and, and now, but now that you say this, now I'm like, and I don't want to have to watch it. I, I don't even want to pay attention to it. But the but there was a bunch of stuff, right? It was watching their fans celebrate. Okay, oh. and I'm like, okay, that's painful because that really feels like it should be us watching the teams. And then I heard some uh, some TV post game analysis. I can't remember if it was on ESPN or what, and where they were like. And to think of what their fans have been through. And I'm like, to think of what oh, their fans have I know, been I know. What their fans have been through? You mean the 11 NFC title games they played between the last time we played in one and this one? And yeah. then I get to, you have to deal with the Chiefs. I'm like, that's it. I'm out. I'm not, I'm not watching. I'm I not heard, watching the Super I'm starting to think I might not again. I think it was the same time they made that, that, that maybe in the same comment. It was something about, uh, you know, San Francisco, they... They haven't been to the Super Bowl since, uh, you know, back to 2013 or whatever it was, and they haven't won it since the mid '90s. Well, and I'm they, like, they were in the Super Bowl like three years ago. I'm like, well, that one. I was, <laughs> and I'm like, but they've been to every NFC Championship game. Like, what do you mean? Their fans have been. What their fans have yeah. been through so much. What? What exactly? What, so much elation. So much jubilation. Doug, because of I, what they? Because of what they've been through. Doug, if you don't watch it, I won't watch it. Honestly. Let's make a pact right now. Seriously, because I mean I, it, dude. I was so I said the same thing. I can't believe you said that. that's great. That's fantastic. I, that was and I. That's like the overreact. Like I, it, <laughs> I listen to some of the post game show and I listen to some of the national network stuff and I heard a little bit of the morning show today. And I'm like, my God, the overreactions are just way over the top. And then like you had one, Doug. 
You're not watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> my buddy texts me. He goes, he's the same thing. He goes, I'm probably not watching the Super Bowl. I can't, I'm I like, might, dude, I might be with you. F that game. Yeah, right? I, I, Stupid game. I said that, that same comment after the, uh, it was the 1988 Super Bowl. I think it was Washington and Denver. And I said, I'm not watching this game. I don't care about either team. I'm After not. After the Super Bowl, no, you it said was, that? No, it was, it was before. <laughs> no, it, once we find out who was going to be in it, oh, I'm okay. like, I, I'm not watching. I'm going to do anything I can other than watch this game. And I had a date set up, swear to God. And then it fell through at the last, last minute. I'm like, all right, whatever. Then I went to my friend's house and watched the game miserably. Uh, that was the Doug Williams game. Um, but I've had that feeling, man. I've had that, but not because of what happened here. I mean, this is where I get it, right? Then I just didn't like those two teams. This is like, no, screw you. My team should be here, and they're not. And I don't even care about life. Right, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and of course See, we there, do. There, of course we do. That's a huge yeah. That was the second thing I yeah. said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about life. Oh, no, I care very much about life. That is Trump's my Super Bowl yeah. reaction. All right, you win. You yeah. always do. Hey, yeah. I think it might be time for me to step back to think that I might have needed some therapy and realize no Gator needs it more. If there's one therapist that shows up today at the station to deal with the the emotional the Gator, the pain, you can go first. Hurt. I don't care about life. I care very much about life. It was a joke. But that sucked. That sucked. It just, yeah. it sucked for a multitude of reasons. But we're here for the people, Doug. Yeah, we're going to deal with some overreactions today that are probably going to tick me off. Um, and 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 yet, you always try and zoom out and take a 30,000 foot view. There's something, there, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that scares me and... It was such an incredible run. It was such a great ride. I would argue that we enjoyed these two playoff wins more than any city has ever enjoyed two playoff wins in the NFL. I think that's true. I agree with you. And I I don't know that this season, the emotion, the elation, the relief, the hungry man walking barefoot across a desert for 32 years finally gets a meal. I don't want to wait another 32 years. I don't know that 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 the authentic emotional high can be replicated. And and it'll still be fun. And I guess we still have something out there that's massively looming over us that we were two steps shy from doing, but I mean it. I'm not watching the Super Bowl. Your calls next. 90 it's Champ and Chump on a Monday, 97 won the ticket.